Well, hello, Wolfpack. Welcome back to another reaction of Jojo. 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 So, episode number 10. Um, whew. Action packed as always, the last couple episodes. You know, we've met a couple more stand users that they've subsequently killed. Um, although, technically, we didn't see Yellow Temperance die, it was just assumed and implied. Um, and obviously, um, Jean Pierre now has found out the one that killed his sister. It actually turns out it's the witches, the old witch's son, the hanged man. So, um, I would expect we fight them soon. Um, we're on the train now, so I, I, again, I expect there's going to be some kind of battle on this train. Um, and it's just going to be fan doobly dastic, and I can't wait. So, um, before we get into it, guys, as always, if you do enjoy this video, drop a like. If you are new to the channel, please, if you enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for the notification so you don't miss out any videos, any polls that we do. And yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching. Let's get to the video. All right, episode number 10. Let's go. Ah, charting our journey so far. Man, that's a long ass train journey. I thought we were on a train. What? I missed something. <laughs> I do love curries. Curry is my favorite food. Oh, yeah. As he's saying that, we're going to be attacked by monsters or something. <laughs> ah. You know, this is kind of my 11 million. Wow. I mean, I've never been to India. My brother went and he said it was fall and people always trying to do things for you. <laughs> uh, okay, if you say so, Alfdol. Yeah, like I was saying, my brother went to India and he uh, he said it was a fantastic country, brilliant, lovely people. My parents went, uh, you know, I really want to go because curry is my favorite food. And they say, you know, there's no better place to have a curry. Um, and I and people have always said that they, they said that it was really good. The people are so welcoming, so friendly. And you do get that. Like every time you go to an Indian restaurant, like they're so attentive. They're so friendly. And so, yeah, I, I, I really want to go to India. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll be rich enough to to go. I mean, from what I've heard, from what they told me, it's not that it's actually not expensive when you're there. It's just getting there. And let's go. The Emperor and the Hangman Part One. Okay, so the Emperor and the Hangman were two of the cards, if I remember correctly. So that's probably why it's two parts. The heat would kill me though. I wonder what is in that bag. I wonder if it is the trash. <laughs> it's just like, huh? You dick. <laughs> Which means we can pick anything. This isn't suspicious. Is this going to be the hangman? Hmm. That's suspicious. <laughs> Don't is something wrong. <laughs> I love how calm the, the Indian guy is. Huh. Huh. <laughs> And that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting, man. That's just gross. That's disgusting, man. Uh, 
I really hope that's not true. <laughs> Who's to say it won't be the same in the hotel, dude? Is that a hand in the in the window? Ah, oh, he did say. He did say he used a mirror. So maybe you can only see it like in a reflection. Can't actually see it if you look at it. Yeah. I love this this little music they use every time we get a battle. How do you fight something you can't see? Uh oh. Uh, you just destroyed the only way that you can see it. Nah, uh, seriously, nothing would stop me from eating an Indian. Nah, <laughs> nothing would stop me. I'd still be in there eating. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna hear the backstory maybe a little bit. Uh, but you can't, dude. So why don't you use their help? And this is where in the RPG, Bottom F has left the party. Indeed, very selfish. Oh. oh man, that's a low blow. Fight, 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 fight. Um, I wouldn't call it luck, dude. Yeah, exactly, Avdol. It's, 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 it is very selfish. And stupid. I can see why this is going to be a two-parter, because it's obvious at the end of this episode he's going to be an epic fail, and they're going to have to come to his rescue, and he's going to go, Oh, I was wrong! Ah, this is the Indian sticks, huh? Huh. Uh, stand users? Huh? Wow. Ah, that is legal in many countries. He looks like he's 40. <laughs> Reminds me of Kenny from um, Attack on Titan. Royalty? Ah. The Empress. Ah, maybe she's the stand user, the Empress, and he's the hangman. He's the son. That would make sense. Oh, trying to look at his hands to see if they are two, two, two uh, right hands or two left hands. I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> He's a smooth talker. Yeah, just you know, leave her in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Why not? Ah, hello. Oh, that's just creepy. So who is this dude then? It's a cobra, I think. Maybe. Um. All right. Damn. So this guy can just get a gun out of thin air and shoot some... What the, oh, that's a, that's a brilliant ability. There we go. Oh, Emperor, not Empress. Okay. Uh, oh, the poor snake. Uh, that, that beret there makes me feel like he's like... Maybe like he's either a French beret or British beret. Like, 
something like that. A military man. Oh, no one knows any of his stats. That's like when you scan a boss in a, in a game and they won't tell you anything. Uh -huh. Everyone's looking at him going, Eh? I don't understand you! What are you saying? There he is! Oh, are you poser? Look at the way he's posing. Hull horse. Man, his parents must have really hated him. He's like, come on. <laughs> He's nearby. Where? Where is he? Tell me. Hmm. This time it might be different. I think this one should be different. Oh, I think he's going to be humiliated here. He's going to have a bit of a beat down, I think. He's trying to say he's going to shoot you, dude. Ah, oh, okay. It's a laughing contest. <laughs> Everyone's like, these two men are crazy. Uh... Yep, you're in trouble, dude. And someone's going to save it. Jump in and save the life. After all. Oh, it's going to be end of part one. Yes, I knew it. Knew it. Dude, he just saved your life, man. Man, that was pretty cool. That was pretty sweet. Uh oh, he just said it was his stand, so I don't think that's gonna be that's gonna work. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, I have a terrible feeling. Where are they? Hey, there's a four-year fight going on over there. There you go. Oh no! What? What? Fuck no. No way. Oh my god. You got him killed. He's not dead? Oh, is this is this out of hope? This has got to be out of hope. Come on, dude. No way. No. She can't be dead. Dude, he saved your life. Man, if you if he didn't interfere, you'd be dead. Although I don't know how how uh, Kyokov knows that. He's crying. 
Can't believe that. Wow. Really shouldn't get attached to any characters. I was really, really warming up to Avdol. Well, not warming up. I actually liked him from the start, but I didn't see that coming at all. I mean, I thought he'd, you know, save him, maybe get injured, you know, take the bullet. I didn't think it would kill him. So now, now they've got to fight on with just the four of them. And obviously, I mean, this changes the whole dynamic. Because obviously, I mean, Jojo Senior is going to be pissed um, at Polnareff because essentially he's got him killed, you know? I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's some way that he's going to come back. I mean, but it doesn't look like it because, you know, it looks like he's got a bullet to the head. Now... This, I mean, this one hurts. It doesn't hurt as much as uh, when when um, when Caesar died. Um, but this does hurt. I mean, this is going to hurt for a while, I think. Because I just... I don't know. I just think it's surprising and unnecessary. I, he didn't need to die. That's the thing. That's the thing that's annoying. I mean, Ponrev didn't have to go off and... I mean, we knew that he was only coming for that. But he didn't have to be a dick. He, he should have realised that as a group of five, they were going to be better off fighting them. Not on his own. And the arrogance that he's shown there is just... I don't know, it's insulting, really. I mean, he lost his battle to Avdol and then he's like, Oh, you got lucky. <laughs> he almost died against the deaf guy. You know, I just, it's sad, disappointing, you know, I'm not crying by the way, I'm not crying, just stare, got something in my eye, as the expression goes, but yeah, um, there's a very sad note to end on it, and obviously I can't stop now, I've got to find out what happens in the next part. So, um, what to expect? I mean, I would suspect that by the end of the next part, they're going to have defeated, not the hangman, they're going to have defeated the emperor, the dude with the gun. I mean, there's a pretty nice stand. The bullet. I expect he's going to be able to fight, that they're going to fight and overcome him. But, I mean, without Avdor. It's a shame. Uh, Maybe he'll come back. Uh, I doubt it very much. Because we have seen, like, in each of the parts, like, a major character has died at some point. Um, so, yeah. Very sad. Very sad. All right, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a few minutes to reflect on that before I move on to the next episode. So thank you very, very much for watching this uh, emotional episode, I suppose. Um, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of the action. And uh, thank you very much, Wolfpack, for watching this video. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>